Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this blue scoop marble. If you like nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this design, just stay tuned. Starting off with clean, dry nails, I'm going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base. You can use whichever is your personal favorite. The colors that I'm going to be using today are all Sally Hansen from the Hardest Nails Extreme Wear line. We've got White On, which is obviously the white. We've got this teal, which is called Blue Me Away. This sort of medium blue is called Pacific Blue. Then we've got a dark blue, it's very metallic, this is called Blue It. And the lightest blue that I'm going to be using is Babe Blue, which is one of my favorite lighter colors. So I've got a plastic lid to work on here. And I'm going to be starting each scoop marble with some white polish as the base color. I actually don't have a base color on my nails. And I'm going for a thick little circle that's about the size of a dime or maybe a little bit larger. We're gonna start out with that base white. We're gonna do one drop of teal, another drop of white, then another drop of teal. Then we're gonna use the medium blue, just one drop of this, but kind of one real nice and healthy drop, not a, not a skimpy drop two drops of the dark blue. This is really going to help with the contrast having, you know, from white to the very dark blue. And then finishing off with just one drop of the lightest blue. Got an orange stick here and I'm just going to draw through this about four times to add a little bit of pattern there. And then I've got a flat brush that I'm going to be scooping that up with and depositing it on my nail. And hopefully we'll get some cool patterns here. Just apply it with a little bit of a wiggle back and forth like that. Might need to probably scoop up a little bit more and then just continue. And I've got some places that need filling in, but I've actually got enough polish here to do a second nail. So I'm going to do that first. Again, just scoop it up and then kind of apply it on your nail with a little bit of a back and forth, up and down, side to side, wiggle. Like that. So, I've still got some polish on this brush. And I actually had a smaller brush out, but I think I'm going to attempt this with this normal brush, or the brush that I've already been using. I'm just going to kind of pull this to the sides so that it's all the way to the side of my nail. I just wiped it off a little bit there. I've got some extra polish there. Just kind of work with it. It's, it's pretty thick and you're going to want to let it set. In fact, I've got a little bit extra here. I can even use that to kind of pull and fill in on the sides here. And because it is thick, you're going to want to let it set with your nails resting flat uh, before you move your hands around too much. Like before you go to do your thumb, you want to make sure that all the nails are properly set so that they don't start drifting to the side. If you have a lot that's pooling at the side, you can use an orange stick to clean up a little bit more like this. But be careful because if you're touching that design, it's going to move. So don't move it in a direction that you don't want it. And I'm just going to repeat that for all my nails.
I'm gonna go ahead and complete my left hand before I get started on my right hand. So I'll be doing a little bit of cleanup around the edges with a small brush dipped in acetone before finishing with top coat. For my top coat, as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure and I really love how this turned out. I possibly love it a bit more because when I sat down to do my nails I had no idea what I was doing. So to go from zero ideas or inspiration to something that I think is really awesome kind of makes me like it a little bit better. I did a lot of testing, like adding and removing colors, a couple different colors, different amounts of colors or different order of colors to settle on what I finally used for the tutorial. And I think this is another really great example of consistent randomness by using the same amount of color and the same order of color on each nail. Although the designs are all really different, the colors are all very similar. And while I was doing all that testing, I was discussing with chat how this technique didn't really seem to have a name. I'd seen other people do it, but if there was a name associated, it was more a name for the manicure rather than a name for the technique. And so we decided on calling this a scoop marble. It's very similar to drag marbling, and drag marbling actually is involved, but it's still different, and the pattern really comes out when you scoop up the polish and marble it onto your nail with a little bit of a wiggle motion. So you can certainly let me know down in the comments whether you agree or disagree with that name. And if you're interested in seeing the testing, my live stream will be uploaded here to YouTube tomorrow on Monday or it's available right now over on my Twitch channel. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.